Hi, Mark and Rebecca. Okay. Uh, congrats for the great win and big breaks. How different did you feel playing in this double format? No, it was good. I enjoyed it, you know. Uh, there was just one shot in the whole match where it was in the last frame and I had the cutback red into the yellow pocket. I'm thinking, like, should I go for it, should I not? Because I thought if I go for it and miss, then you're basically you're playing for your partner as well, where I could have easily played safe. But I just felt as though that was probably our chance to try and win the frame. So other than that, yeah, I felt I felt relaxed out there. I felt good. I enjoyed it. I hope Rebecca did. She said she didn't, but uh, hopefully she'll enjoy the next two games. Yeah, yeah, I did enjoy it by the end. Um, and yeah, that, that shot you did go for was the the right decision. Yeah, go out there and get the yeah, get the frame on sure. yourself. And I at Rebecca and she gave me the eyes and I had no choice <laughs> to go for it. <laughs> yeah. No, we won't confer it, no. I won't looking at you. But yeah, that was the right shot. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd, I won't look forward to it at the start with so much nerves, but um, yeah, I did settle by the end. So I'm looking forward to tonight and tomorrow now. Now I'm a bit more settled, yeah. I'm really impressed with your choice of food last evening. How did you enjoy your Turkish dinner? I was there too. Was you? Yeah, it was good. I mean, I'd been there before uh, when we because we've been here so often, like during the, the lockdown, we was here and ordering food. So I said to Rebecca and Ash, I said, look, it's my treat. You choose where we're going to go. And we got a lot of requests saying you should go there. It's nice food. So, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was nice. Yep, I loved it. We got a mixed kebab. It was delicious. Uh, it market always tastes better when it's free, it? Yeah, it was lush, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, didn't eat, manage to eat it all. It was such a big portion. But, yeah, yeah, nice. Now you guys should definitely qualify for Turkish Masters next year. I'll try uh, my best. Uh, you've, you've, o- you've also been training together. Your team chemistry looked great out there. I mean, have you worked on any particular strategies? Uh, not really. I mean, we spoke about the, the rules and the format a little bit. But, I mean, the main thing for me was to invite Rebecca down and obviously try and make her feel as comfortable as possible. As she said in the interview we've met before, the Paul Hunter Classic when we was out there. But only just, like, briefly. Uh, so... I thought if Rebecca comes down and stayed for two days, we had two days practice, which was good, and stayed at the house. And I thought just try and make her as comfortable as possible, just because I know it was going to be nerve wracking for the ladies playing in this tournament live on TV. It's a, it's a big thing for them, you know. So uh, I thought I'll do the right thing, and hopefully it didn't work as it turned out because she was even still nervous walking out there. So I wish Anta done it now. No, no, it did work. <laughs> it, it did really settle me because I was thinking, if well, if Mark's not playing well and I'm not playing well, we've got no chance. Some people, can you? <laughs> no, it did, it did really settle me up. So thank B&B. you for that. Yeah, you sure cooked for me. You washed up my cup. Well, oh, fantastic. I didn't, I didn't cook. I didn't cook. <laughs> no, no, it was good and it did really settle me. Um, but yeah, I can't help, you know, walking out there with nerves. I'm not really used to the TV, <laughs> the lights and the, the fans and things. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm more settled now, much more settled. There are many young faces in the audience. How do you think this event would inspire them to play snooker? Yeah, I mean, I hope for me, I hope it inspires more women to get involved. Uh, because I think that's the the reason behind the tournament for me. I think I mean I may be wrong, but for me, as an outsider looking in, that's the way I'd probably see it. So, hope obviously, even if it like brings young kids involved as well, because obviously they see like people playing something like this is something different. They're so used to just seeing all the top guys on TV all the while, and sometimes you keep seeing the same faces. It can get a bit monotonous, and people switch off and think, oh, it's like Ronnie again, or it's Judd again, or it's Neil again. So something like this is something new and fresh, and uh, hopefully it can just invite more people to play but mainly uh, more females to, to approach the game as well. Yeah I'm quite big on trying to get the women's game to grow um, so yeah it's just fantastic for the women's game um, but yeah the, with the format being a bit short and it's a bit different you know wearing different clothing and it's you know you're seeing a boy and a girl on there so I do hope it's inspiring young ones not just female but obviously young females even better because they can start younger and start to see that you know you can become a professional and pursue it and go down to that club and pick up a queue and give it a go yeah. Thank you very much and good luck. No problem. Cheers.